All right, so in this question, they're asking us about the second quartile of a certain list of data. Right here, they say that the, the freshman in class held a canned food drive for 12 weeks. And you can see that there are the 12 weeks up here. And the results are summarized here. Right, Every week, they're selling a different number of cans here. And they want to know, basically, what numbers represent the second quartile of the number of cans of food collected. So I want to talk about what that means and then how to do this relatively quickly on your graphing calculator. So what does it mean fix that, to, to find a quartile in general? Well imagine, you know, and this depends of course on the way it's set up, but imagine that you have a perfectly distributed set of data, right? This group of data right here. Well, if we were to split all the data into four groups, what would happen? Well, we would need three dots or splits to split this in four groups. Let's say I place one right here in the middle. This is called the median, right? Or Q2, the second quartile. That's our first dot. So when you hear the second quartile, that's the median, that's the 50% mark, halfway. Now if I split this lower half in half, right? That's my Q1 point, my first quartile. That's the 25% mark, right? Because it's, tw it's above 25% of the data. And then I would only need one more point in here, my third quartile, right? And I know it's confusing to use the word quartile because you think, oh, there's got to be four of these things. Well, it's, they're splitting it into quarters, right? Into one, two, three, four quarters. And here, that's the 75% mark. All right, so here what's happening is you're splitting your data into four groups. Now, all the quarters don't have to be equal, right? especially if we have outliers here, and you're connecting this. Right? The quarters can be different sizes. It's just that the first quartile means that 25% of the data is below it. It doesn't mean that it's 25% of the distance or 25% of the range between high and low. It just that means that all the data you have, 25% of it is down here below the first quartile. So how do we deal with this uh, on a problem in a way it doesn't take us all day long? Well, that's where the graphing calculator comes in. So one thing we should realize right away is that we can enter in list of data. So I'm going to hit stat, this button right here. I want to edit my list. So I want to enter that data in. And now I'm going to enter in all the cans I have. I have 20 and then 35, 32, and I, I, you know, I recommend crossing these off as you go along, and then 45, 58, just entering these in, 46, 28, 28, okay, 23, 31, so I'm almost done here, cross those off, Okay, next I have 79 and 65 and 62. Okay, so I've got all this data. Let's scroll up, make sure nothing looks out of the ordinary. Okay, um, and what I want to do is create a box and whisper plot, whisker plot, excuse me, because that'll allow me to quickly identify the quartiles. So I get out of here, don't want that. Now, once this, this is all set up on your list, you can just hit second stat plot up here. And there are different plots. Since we're only plotting one group of data right here, make sure only one of these are on. The others should be off. If you need to turn any on or off, you can scroll up or down. And once you hit enter, the first feature is to turn it on or off. So we want one of them on here because we want to graph at least one list or group of data. And then scroll down. And then there are all these different options. We want to pick this box plot right here in the middle. The other one right here deals with very extreme outliers and we don't have that. Make sure you're on list number one. If you need to hit list one or select it, you can hit second, then the number one, that'll pick list one. And make sure the frequency is set to one so each data point is only plotted once. And then when you're ready, right, you can quit out of this, hit the zoom button, and if you scroll down, it's the ninth function here in the list. But instead of scrolling, you could just press the number 9 to go really fast. And the name of the function is zoom stat. Hit enter, 
and there's your box and whisper plot. Another way to read this thing, especially in terms of this question, is to trace it. Hit the button right here, and now I can scroll through these lines. This line right here is the lowest point, the minimum, and that makes sense. It says 20. That was our lowest point in the question. Now what they want to know is the second quartile. This line right here is the first quartile, right? 29.5, I believe it says. If I scroll up, there's my second quartile. It's the median, or 40, and that's our answer here. If I want to know the third quartile, that would be this line right up here, and that's 60. And I can scroll up or down to see the, the, out, the outlying extreme values. All right, hope that helps. So the answer here is 3. And again, on the box and whisper plot, it's this middle line. That's the second quartile or the median. Thanks.